National 5 Biology students do this past paper question with me. So this one says the diagram shows a cross between a horse and a donkey and the resulting offspring. The diploid number of chromosomes for the horse and the, the donkey are given. Okay, so the horse has 64 and the donkey is 62. Okay. Uh, part A, the horse and the donkey produce gametes that are required for reproduction. Name the type of gamete produced by the female horse in this cross. Now we know that the animal gamete for females is an egg. Okay, or we should know that. If we don't, that's something we need to revise and learn. Part two, name the organ where the gametes of the male donkey are produced. So in male animals, the testes produce the sperm, which is the male gamete. Name the cell produced when the nuclei of the male and female gametes fuse. They form a diploid zygote. Part C, one, state the diploid number of chromosomes in the offspring of this cross. Now this is a tricky one, but what happens is we know that these parents here will each make gametes. Now gametes have half of the number of chromosomes from the original cells, the, the normal diploid cells. So half of uh, 62 is going to be 31 and half of 64 is going to be 32. So the gametes that are formed by these two organisms are going to be th that number, okay? Now, when we add, they're obviously going to then go in, into fuse together to form this organism. So when we add 32 and 31 together, we get 63. And then lastly, this offspring is not fertile. Use this information and give a conclusion about horses and donkeys, okay? So if the offspring of two animals is not fertile, that suggests that they are they are not the same species, okay? Because the definition of a species is the ability to produce fertile offspring. And so because their offspring is not fertile, they are not the same species. Okay, folks, hope that's helped. I'll see you in the next one.